Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here. And today I just want to jump on here and tell you what's coming tomorrow. So I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to trigger like layer visibility based on sound or based on beats. And obviously I'll go into more detail, but it's definitely like expression driven. So it has to do about expressions, but let me show you what exactly we'll be creating tomorrow. So we have three compositions. Here's the first one. And if I hit preview, watch this. So I have this wave sound and it has a bunch of beats and each beat will trigger one of these layers in here. So notice I have this text layer one. Right now the opacity of it is zero. We have no keyframes, so it's strictly driven by, by an expression. So when it goes to the first beat, when it hits that, notice it goes from zero to 100. So when it hits second beat, that one goes back to zero and then the second layer goes from zero to 100 and so on. So it starts the very top and moves downwards. So that's all you have to know for this one. And then we have the second example and essentially the exact same thing, but slightly different. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me preview this. So for this one, obviously the same thing starts at the very top and these beats do trigger all of these layers in here. So first beat happens right here and then it triggers that layer. And then the second one happens, it triggers the second layer. But notice the first one stays at 100%. So it stays throughout the whole thing. So basically the only difference with this one is that once it's triggered, it's gonna stay, you know, stay fully visible the whole time. So yeah, that's that one. And then the last one is slightly different and I'll show you what, so let me preview this. All right, so this one does the same thing, but instead of starting at the very top and moving downwards, it starts at the very bottom and then moves upwards. And here's why I did it that way, because sometimes, you know, the hierarchy of things, you want certain things to be revealed behind first. So in this case, I didn't want that to be revealed first, but it was first one right here on the list. So it was, it's not what I wanted. So in this case, I want to start behind, you know, to reveal things behind the logo, like the, the solid shape right here, and then for that to be the last thing, for this first layer to be the last thing. Obviously I couldn't put it behind because it would be hidden. So I had to start at the very bottom. And as you can see, the first beat happens right here. That one is visible. And then second one happens, then that one is visible. And as you can see, so it moves from, from the bottom upwards. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And by the way, in case you were wondering who did the drumming right here, I did it. I have a drum set. It's called an iPad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. By the way, I do want to remind you that we do have a course on expressions. You can check it out at ukrainemedia.com slash expressions. If you want to learn more about expressions, if you want to get into the basics of it, I think that course is perfect for it. So check it out at ukrainemedia.com slash expressions and definitely be back here tomorrow. I'm not sure what time yet, but I'll release this tutorial tomorrow. And if I don't, it's probably because I spent way too much time with this thing. I'll see you guys tomorrow.